In this segment, I will be discussing a piece called Dancer in Front of a Window by Edgar Degas. This painting was started in 1874 and completed in 1877. Although Degas was a critic of the Impressionist movement, his paintings demonstrate a wide range of elements from this movement. For example, Impressionism originated in Paris, where Degas lived, and is a style of painting characterized by short brushstrokes, unusual angles, and ordinary subject matter. The most important aim of the style is to depict the elusive subject of light itself and its visual effects. Degas' paintings follow these criteria in that the subjects consisted of women going about the everyday task of bathing or dancers behind the scenes of their glamorous performances. Furthermore, light seems to dance through his paintings, creating shadows and illusions. This painting comes from Degas' extensive work at the Palace Garnier in Paris. He spent much time in the wings watching the ballets and painting the dancers. Addressing the dancers, he is recorded in a sonnet saying, One knows that in your world, queens are made of distance and grease paint. Degas removed the distance and the makeup that come with the stage performances, rather painting the ballerinas in their studios while they were working tirelessly to perfect their dances. This painting specifically was done at Degas' own studio in Paris. Here he uses a technique he created as an extension of a monotype print, which is where one paints on an inked plate and then puts it through a press, effectively making a print of it. As for the image itself, one can see from the moonlit room and the dark windows of the other buildings that it is late at night. While the rest of the city is sleeping, this ballerina is still dancing. Her costume and her jewelry suggest she is practicing immediately after one of her performances. The studio is nearly completely empty, emphasizing the isolation of the dancer. She is practicing alone at night, placing her career before both spending time with others and her own rest. The only accompaniment of the dancer is the moonlight that bathes the studio. Light moves about the floor in different hues and shapes. As the dancer's face is cast in a shadow and the light displays more movement than the dancer herself, it seems that the true subject is not the woman, but the light.